Yo, what's up? So, you're trying out Rome and you got this exact problem. You are in Rome and all you want to do is import the markdown files that you exported from the previous app that you were using. So you click on this drop down menu, you click on import files, and then you just browse for your files, right? So by the time you select all the files that you need, you got it all, you're ready, you're excited, you click open, and now look at this horrible message. Too many files, selected limit is 10. So for some crazy reason, Rome only allows you to import 10 files at the time, which if you're a normal person, you have more than 10 files. Now I've seen a lot of recommendations of people saying like, maybe it's better if you just do one file manually, copy it manually and then format it. That's terrible advice. So today I'm gonna teach you a way in which you can avoid this error, this you know like limitation, so that you can expand it and import as many files as you want and need. So hey there, my name is Santi and I make videos on productivity and the philosophy behind productivity. And if you're watching this video, it means that you're giving Rome a try, right? And if you're already 100% decided, Rome is amazing, go for it, Rome is such a powerful tool. But if you're still a bit undecided, I do recommend you check out Obsidian first because it's free and you get to own your files. And I have a course on it teaching you from the beginner level. So that is a great way in which you can support my work and also it might really benefit you if you're not 100% sure with Rome. But if you are, you know, give it a try. It really is an amazing tool and that is why I'm making this because I'm definitely wanting to explore more tools so that I can compare them better. And Rome is just such a powerful tool that I really wanted to take a look at. But when I tried to import my files, I got this error and thankfully because someone in the Rome community shared this hack, I was able to do it. So thank you so much to the guy that shared this. And with that said, let me let me teach you how to actually solve this issue so that you can import as many files as you need. Cool. Right. So after we see this message, you actually need to make sure that you see that message before you try any of this. I tried it by refreshing Rome, but you need to make sure that you see this message first because without the error, you cannot manipulate it. So that's really important. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go to the settings here in Chrome and you can go to more tools and then you're going to click on developer tools, right? So in developer tools, you're going to be greeted with this a scary window where there's tons of code and stuff. Don't worry. We're going to keep it super simple. It's not going to be hard to do at all. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to go into sources right here. And all we need to do is we need to click on this drop down where it says no domain. So make sure you find it and you click on this little button to open this file right here that says JS compiled route app.js. Okay. I, and you don't need to know, know any code for this. Don't worry. All you need to do is find a little piece of text and replace that for a bigger number. But that's it. We're going to go through it slow. Okay. So now all you need to do is you're going to be able to go down at the end of the file and press command F or, you know, command F or control F, depending on what you're using. And this is going to allow you to find some text. So this is the text that we need. It's 10 less than M dot length and exclamation mark. And don't worry, I'm going to leave that in the description slash comments. So make sure to check that out so that you can just cop copy paste it. Okay. So you're going to look for that and it's going to highlight it in yellow like so, right? Then you select it and now you can write a bigger number. So this is the limitation of 10 files for the import. All you need to do is write a bigger number. Now, in my case, I wrote 10,000. That seems to be a number that works. I tested it and it's all right. And if you need for any reason larger than that, you can just write it here at an extra zero or whatever you need. Cool. So now after you do that, make sure you save this file because that's all you need to do. You need to save this file. So if you press Control S, you will see this little icon at the top and it means it's saved. Now you can close this. Now make sure not to refresh Rome because you need it to work with this code. And whenever you refresh it, the code that we just added right now is going to disappear. So don't refresh anything. Do it straight away and go to the buttons in here where you click import files. Now you select all the files that you need and now you click open right here, right? And now that is going to work and it's going to start loading it like that. So that means it's working. And you're going to have to wait a little bit because this might take a little while, depending on the amount of files that you have. And then, well, you're going to have to wait a bit longer. And then once it's done, you can click on that and it's going to prompt you to wait even longer. So at this point, I went to get a sandwich. So maybe go get a sandwich if you need to. I had a lot of files just for this test video. Uh, so yeah, it really depends on the amount of files that you have. It might not take that long. It took me, I think, for the amount of files that I have right here, 
which was something like a thousand just for test. Uh, it took me maybe like 10 minutes. Yeah, it might depend. I think it depends on your internet speed. But with that said, you're gonna, after you wait for this, you're gonna wait and there we go. So yeah, once it's done, you're gonna see this little toggle called import, right? And then you open it. Now, depending if you have a lot of files, this little toggle might take a while. So just be a bit patient because yeah, it might just take a little while, right? So now you can see that all your files have been imported. They're gonna look like this. It's gonna have a link to the file as well as just a file name. And yeah, that's it. Now you can navigate and actually open any of these links and it's gonna work. So for example, if we just click on any file right here, you can see that it worked. For the most part, it looks really good in terms of the formatting. And you can, of course, like navigate through it as you would in Rome. And you can just start manipulating it so that the outline you know, is, is according to your needs in the way that you're gonna use Rome, right? So yeah, that's it. And now if you wanted to check that everything's all right, you can go to the side pane in here to the left and go on all pages, which is just gonna show you all the pages. You can see if everything looks all right. And yeah, now you have them all. So you can search them and so on. So there you go. And now you can just, you know, take a look and start using Rome. So that's it. I hope you found this helpful because this was the only way I managed to do it. I really don't know what Rome, why Rome does this. I mean, maybe they're trying to encourage you to format each node individually one by one. But if you're more like me, you rather import everything and then start formatting things little by little. Now, yeah, I hope, you, I hope this was helpful to you. And again, if, in case you are still a bit curious about other tools such as Obsidian, do check out my courses in the description and your support would mean a lot because yeah, that is what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm trying to make more courses, trying to make more tools accessible, but I really love Obsidian and I think you would too. Uh, but if not, do take a look at Rome. It's an amazing tool and I've definitely been exploring it a bit. And I really hope in the future it can support something like local files because if it did, I think it'd be such a perfect tool. But for the time being, I'm sticking with Obsidian. And yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe and do all the things that YouTubers ask you to do. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.